here alongside Jay Chapman and Skylar Thomas and obviously the draft had taken place just last week in Philadelphia. I'm sure a moment that both of you guys have dreamt about for quite some time. Just talk about your experiences and how that day had went for you. Uh, it was fantastic for me. Um, I wasn't actually in the draft. I signed my contract um, a little bit before that, um, being a homegrown. But um, it was awesome to be there um, for my friends, you know, Skyler, seeing him get drafted to TFC. We grew up uh, playing together, so it was awesome to uh, um, see him make the next step. And uh, one of my teammates, Fatai Lashe, um, on Michigan State, he got drafted, so um, got drafted to San Jose. So it was awesome to be there for him. Great experience. Um, you know, just to see what it is behind the scenes growing up in college and stuff like that, you know, watching it, seeing all these guys uh, live their dreams and stuff like that. So it was, uh, it was really cool. What about watch. you, Skylar? Uh, yeah, it was, it was an excellent experience. I had a lot of fun, um, a lot of nerves leading up to the moment, but um, it's all worth it. And it's just excellent to be home with, it, with uh, Toronto FC again. So it's, it was a good day. So how much work lies ahead now? The easy part is out of the way, signing the contract now. So what is on the horizon for you in terms of working towards this season? Uh, I think just learning how to be a pro is uh, probably the biggest thing. Um, you know, it's it's going to be awesome training every day with guys like uh, Michael Bradley, Josie Altador, Joe Berto, you know, Juvenko when he comes in. Like, you know, those are all world-class players. So I think for me, myself, um, going forward, you know, just attacking every day, you know, training really hard, listening to the coaching staff and uh, you know just learning from those guys and learning you know what it takes to be a pro because there's a lot that goes into it. Well what do you feel like you can learn then? Um, yeah I think the big thing is the transition from the college game to the pro game. Um, a lot of people talk about the high school to the college transition but I'm sure this this transition is going to be much harder. You got to understand that um, these guys are fighting for much more than what we we're fighting for in college. Um, this is it's, um, it's much different. Um, you got to understand also that you just always have to do the right things at the right times, um, train well, eat healthy. All those transitions is a big part of the game now. Well, today, of course, was a huge announcement announcing TFC2. How do you think that this helps bridge the gap in development between someone who graduates from the academy program and trying to make that step to the pros? I think it's huge. Um, you know, when I look back from when I was on the academy, you know, there'd be first team guys that I was friends with, you know, and that they, they weren't getting a lot of games, you know, because they didn't have this program. So. Um, you know, I think it's good for guys like myself, you know, newcomers, you know, who might not, um, hopefully, um, you know, I'll be able to contribute right away. But, um, you know, just being able to play games, um, you know, like all year round and stuff like that, it's huge for, um, you know, a young player like myself's uh, development. And um, I think it's, I think TFC is, um, is in, you know, the right direction. Um, in terms of getting guys pro and, you know, making that step to, you know, playoffs, you know, MLS Cups and stuff like that. As someone who's Canadian from the local area, how important is it to you now wearing this crest of Toronto FC? Uh, yeah, it's, it's great. A lot of guys would love to be in my position and I'm just ready to fully embrace this role and um, do the best I can. I know, like he said, this is big for us, but this is also big for the future of Canada soccer. Like, guys who are just starting off soccer, there's a place where they could go. Uh, later on in their career and develop uh, into becoming a pro, so it's, it's excellent.